This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Soko K Inlandsporten, and behind me here you see Hongxi EHS9 Exclusive Plus. I tried it before. Well, yes, haven't I? Yes, of course, but that was the previous generation. This is a new shit, man. The old one was uh, 99 kilowatt hour. This one is 120 kilowatt hour. Yes, EQS sized battery. And uh, what else did they improve? Uh, we have 130 kilowatt charging. Uh, it was supposed to be like before, but we'll see. We have to test that. They have improved the speakers. So we have 16 speakers now. They improved the, the amplifiers. So the sound system has gotten a great upgrade. I listened to it. It was wonderful compared to before. And then also we have fragrance. And I think that's pretty much it. So let me show you guys. It looks just like before. Uh, actually, if you look at it from outside, you can't really tell if this is the new one. It doesn't even say exclusive plus or anything like that. Yeah, it just says EHS9 here. But yeah, <laughs> it's a Chinese car. You know, every time I see this, I'm like, wait, this is Fu Manchu. <laughs> wait, what about the front? And also the front, man. You guys need to look at the front at night, the, the, the headlights. This car is just massive. And also, yeah, the light is like this. You, you know, when you see this, this is also uh, Fu Manchu. I don't know, it's just, they managed to make Fu Manchu in the front and the back. But it's a humongous car. I don't remember the length. I think it was 5.3 or 5.4 meters. And I'm 173 centimeters. Let me show you how big it is. This is the beast from the east. <laughs> and then look, look, look at the back. Voila. Ooh. Welcome to uh, the ship. Or I don't know what the heck I should call it. You know, I recently tested Mercedes EQS SUV, the fat EQS. I almost feel like we have more space here than in the fat EQS. That's how massive this car is. We have HVAC settings in the back. Can I turn off HVAC right now? This is a six-seater configuration. And that means that in the back, yeah, also, you know, um, EQS SUV costs twice as much as this. This one costs only one million nook. EQS SUV 580, which is similar performance as this one, cost 2 million nook. And then look here. We have this luxury here of taking the seats up. Oh man! Even the EQS SUV 7 seater don't have this. You have to fold it and unfold it manually. But not in this Chinese luxury car. Oh. And then in the front, looks like this if you haven't seen it before oh yeah oh yeah welcome to my lounge so they have added wait which one was it again they have added more speakers here so there's 16 speakers i wonder if it was the new one is in the a pillar or was it the one down there i don't remember uh, it was a while ago since i tested the last one and also they supposedly added this one here and then yeah i have to say man when i look at this it looks better the speaker grill looks a lot better now. I remember seeing the old speaker grill and it was plastic and it felt, it looked cheap. It didn't, it didn't kind of, it, it didn't correspond with the rest of the car, but now it looks a lot better. Oh yeah. And then here you see, you have the, wait, no, 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 put on lights here. You see the bottle here, you have this. Okay, so you can put a cup here or if you have a bottle, you can just deep fist it. <clears throat> Look at that. <laughs> wow, this is awesome, man. Okay, but um, I started from home from Oslo and uh, we're gonna do the range test. But um, I, I start from this weird location because nowadays they are doing some asphalt work. Uh, let me see if I zoom out a little bit. Now, what the heck happened in the map? Why is it so weird? Okay, there, north up. Okay, that's better. There. So yeah, we skip this part here uh, around Mjösen because there, there, it goes slow. But from here we can go schnell. So we will just go here and measure the consumption, and then we also measure the battery capacity, and we can figure out the range because I want to know with a freaking 120 kilowatt hour battery, 
how many kilowatt hours available. I'm guessing around 105 kilowatt hour. So you see that from Oslo to here, we drove 93.8 kilometers. Oh, I can, maybe I can estimate the, the distance error. And then we are down to 74%. So we just have to drive it a little bit now and we'll see. So I will be using comfort mode. There are different modes, but we'll just use comfort mode. Okay, let's check the weight. Oh, oh, front axle. Damn, that's the weight of a BMW i3. The whole car. Huh? It's lighter than before. What? With more battery capacity. <laughs> Ancient Chinese secret. Well, we're on the move and uh, yes, I have to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour in the speed though. And then this car actually shows you GPS speed here in navigation. I checked it uh, against my phone and it corresponds. So yeah, well, we are cruising at 90 over here. <laughs> so yeah, and also this is kind of weird. I have to put the HVAC at 25 degrees Celsius. Well, actually it's not that weird anymore because this is quite common in uh, Chinese cars. They are just tuned differently. But in most Western cars, uh, including Tesla, you have to put it at 21 and it will be nice and warm. But if you have it at 21 in this Chinese car, and actually pretty much all the other Chinese cars, it will be freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, all right. And here you see what it looks like at night. Or yeah, cool lights. I have to say, man, nice. It looks nice. Yeah, one thing that is not so nice is that um, uh, there is no auto steer. So there's some kind of steering wheel symbol here. You can switch off uh, this one. It's called, um, I can show you here in the car settings here. Uh, you go to vehicle settings and then uh, you have Druv and safe. And then here you have SACC and ACC. So ACC is just regular uh, cruise control. And then this one uh, shows up with, with, but the symbol here is not green. So yeah, uh, I'll show you that. If I don't touch the steering wheel, then it will just, yeah, okay, whatever. But since we are driving so slow now, then at least the, the car is not slowing down in the curves. But we'll see once we do the 120 test. But right now the consumption is 275 watt hour per kilometer. Okay, not too bad, all right. So we will drive all the way to uh, the turnaround point at uh, Rudshögda. And then we go, uh, can, we, can we see it here? No. Okay, navigation here is not uh, that easy to use. It's a little bit clumsy, but it's, a, it's an 88 kilometer loop. So over here, there shouldn't be any Baustelle. I mean, when work, okay, let me explain. Yeah, I'm uh, half German, half Norwegian, half Thai and half uh, uh, Chinese. <laughs> but uh, Baustelle means uh, road works or road construction. And then Stau means um, uh, congestion, yeah, and then what does the Unfall means accident, yeah. I just know some words because uh, I tend to travel a lot in Germany, so it's nice to know what those signs mean. Okay, let's test the sound system. Oh, nice and crisp with some nice bass, also. Well, well actually, we're not. We haven't come to the base part yet. But, you know, in playback, also for radio, I hear some glitches sometimes, like it, it pauses for a split second. But it's very nice and clear. I like that. But I almost feel like the treble is a bit over crisp. As if when you're over crisp, I mean, like you're over sharpening uh, an image. Yeah, I would probably turn down the treble a little bit uh, if I would tune this. Well, it sounds good. It sounds good. Okay, next song. Can I listen to the bass? Seems to have an okay uh, mid-bass here. But yeah, is it click? Like... 
sounds like the playback uh, software is a bit buggy. But wow, nice and nice and punchy and deep bass. One thing is that I don't see any playlist here. It's, it's a bit weird how you maneuver in the files here. So I have to just uh, kind of cycle through them. Oh yeah! Howdy y'all! Howdy y'all! Well, did you miss me? Go on and say Sounds I great! You so clear. Yeah! Now I know life is no you know there's a little cowboy in me. Yeah, deep inside. <laughs> Oh yeah, this song has some nice deep bass and it sounds like this car can actually reproduce the bass. Oh man, oh man, this is right down my alley. Chinese car, great sound system, luxury premium electro auto. Oh, yeah. Hey. Man, what is that glitch, man? Did you guys hear it? It has this uh, split second glitch. Also happens when I listen to dub radio. And I think I heard this also in the previous Hongqi. So they need to get the software down, man. But other than that, if I rate the system, I think I'll give it a seven, a good seven. It doesn't get eight or nine or 10 because of the software glitch. And because uh, the base is a little bit uh, over crisp. Oh, sorry, the, the treble is a bit over crisp. We can of course compensate for that, but I want the, the default flat everything to be uh, already good from out of the box without needing to tweak anything. But still, way, way better than before. Hmm, it smells a bit farm over here and uh, it gets into the car. But you know what? A new feature with this uh, Hong Shi is that we have fragrance now. See so if I put on this one, for example. Okay, we have some settings here. Concentration. Yeah, let's go high. Ooh. One minute. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pleasant. What about that fragrance? Oh, oh. oh yeah. We, uh, as long as the HVAC is on, then uh, the um, the fragrance will work. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, it's better now. We just, uh, well, we can't get rid of the smell. Uh, then we need a bi whip in defense mode, but at least. Now we just mix in some uh, fragrance with. Uh, farms smell <laughs> all right we're done with the test 241 watt hour kilometer mm, okay and then according to google it's supposed to be roughly 88 kilometers and 87.5 but we have a little bit of a measurement error here so that's roughly 0.6 percent under reporting yeah i guess i will count that and then temperature outside is where it is over here it's 18 degrees at least at this point. Um, all right, but uh, now let's do the 120 test then. Okay, we are doing the high speed test, 120. Any Germans here? <laughs> but wow, you know, we have 275, 40, 22 inch wheels, freaking huge rims, rims, man. And also fairly wide. This is uh, one inch bigger than the, the previous car I tested. And it's still nice and quiet in here. Yeah. You see here? Double glazed windows. Hmm? It's built like a tank. Yeah, you don't have to pay a lot of money for a German electro auto for a nice and comfy ride. You can get this one. It actually feels and rides similar to an EQS, but it's, I mean, it's big, you know, it's, I don't know if they call it this SUV, but it, it is uh, pretty much as big as an SUV. It also rides kind of like a boat. Yeah, but nice and comfy. Oh, see me start some massage here. Uh, also, of course, the Chinese massage is really good. You can actually feel some stuff poking into the back unlike Helga you know the Chinese Helga is a lot stronger than the German Helga wait 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 a minute there's a slight curve here look oh no it slows down like a freaking Toyota driver what are you serious huh it's not even a sharp curve 
What the heck? We're on the Autobahn here, the Norwegian Autobahn. Look at this. What? And it slows down. Okay, it didn't slow down there, but it slows down many, many curves. And they are not even half sharp. So, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to compensate for this. Uh, should go a little bit faster, maybe, or uh, whatever, whatever. Okay, it's still a Chinese car. Yeah, you get what you pay for. Look at the consumption. 380 watt hour per kilometer. Holy macaroni! <laughs> this car is thirsty. Let's not forget the drag coefficient of this brick is 0.34. Yes, you heard it, 0.34. <laughs> A brick is 0.35, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why when you go schnell, then the consumption goes through the roof. Oh, shit. Look, just a reminder that we are still in Norway. There is a classic Ionic hugging the left lane. He's been hugging left lane since um, before Hamar. So, uh, yeah. Wait, did it slow down now suddenly? But uh, as you can see, there is no traffic in the right lane. Well, that's there for me. So, yeah. Norwegian left lane hugger club, man. They never take vacation. They're always present everywhere. Day and night, doesn't matter. Just want to hug the left lane. <laughs> Wait, now he slows down. What the heck? What, 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 what's wrong with him? He, he slow poked me earlier, but then suddenly he's... Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to do my test, right? Not sure what the heck you're on about, but um, yeah. How about uh, using the right lane if you want to slow poke? Or... Uh, no, okay, whatever. <laughs> Welcome to Norway. All right, we are done with the 120 test. 326 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> well, it is what it is. The beast from the east. And here you see why I cannot test in this area because uh, we have lower speed limits and uh, oh, what the heck, man? Freaking cones knocked over. <laughs> Yeah, okay. But yeah, so they are resurfacing here or uh, slapping down some new fresh black asphalt. So that's why. Oh shit, more, oh, shit, more cones knocked over. I think it's those trucks or knocks them over. But yeah, so um, that's why we have to test uh, for the north for now. But they will finish this in a couple of days. We are getting close to Dar and we are almost out of juice and at 6% it did what most, uh, well actually, uh, yeah, what most Chinese and uh, Japanese cars do, which is to uh, stop showing uh, estimated range. I know I have roughly 20 kilometers, well, maybe 15, yeah, 15 kilometers of range left, but they just stopped showing it. <laughs> Same with... Uh, yeah, the Chinese, no, yeah, Chinese and Japanese cars, they do that, but not Korean cars, fortunately. We have arrived at Ayontidar, and this is the trip. 300 watt hour per kilometer, okay, distance, and then 2% left, and based on this, we can estimate how many kilowatt hour we have. But okay, let's plug it in first and see how fast we can charge. Oh, we're getting only 98 kilowatt. It's supposed to take 130. But this car has no preheating, manual preheating. Um, I don't know if it even preheats before fast charging, but we've been hammering it for the last hour at least before we came here. So yeah, and it's also it's 18 degrees outside. So why are we cold gating now? Ich weiß nicht. But okay, anyway, I will wait for 10% and then I reconnect and then I do the charging test. This is the setup. So you have a tripod here. I place the car here and also it's, it's good to do now it's four in the morning or at night so the sun is when I mean, there's no sun fortunately so uh, otherwise it'll be kind of bright here so yeah let's wait a little bit and then reconnect okay i crunched some numbers here but um, we see that uh, the consumption at 90 kilometers per hour was a lot higher today versus the previous test with the other version the old version 
and then in the 120 test there was not that much difference but um, we have fatter tires and bigger rims this time that could be the reason why there's some difference here because the weather seems to be similar and then when it comes to net capacity we have whooping 109.2 kilowatt hour wow so that's good but there's still a whooping 100 no wait, 11 kilowatt hour buffer has somewhere okay well um but at least this uh, we we have uh, pretty good battery capacity this is the second highest one it's even beating eqs but then not as good as uh, lucid air okay but because this car is so thirsty then uh, the range is not that great <laughs> yeah even after the increase you know just like when i tested the fat e-tron the q8 e-tron they just brute force it they put a bigger battery in there and then they charge a little bit faster and then you get more range but um, if Hongxi wanted to improve the range they should try to make the car more efficient maybe make it more aerodynamic maybe improve the drivetrain efficiency a little bit and then you can uh, uh, achieve great range but maybe the Chinese people don't care just slap down a bigger battery somehow they managed to make it not heavier so huh okay but yeah um, I guess if you drive around with this Hongqi, you don't care too much about efficiency anyway. <laughs> it's doomed to be thirsty. It's even thirstier than a fat e-tron. Think about it, but it also has plenty of space. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.